for this painting is your red, yellow, and blue, which are primary colors, and some brown, burnt umber, and white, and some black. And for your brushes, you can have a fan brush and a flat chisel edge synthetic brush. And you can have a smaller one, so get a couple of different sizes of these, maybe a smaller one, depending on the size of your canvas. My canvas is uh, 9 by 12, and um, you can use any size you want, so adjust your brushes to your size of your canvas. And I have a liner brush, so we can do smaller areas. And um, I have another smaller brush a little bit of a, a liner brush. So to get started on this painting, all you have to do is draw. I did some videos on how to draw from a photo and um, there's a few different ways of doing it. So if you want to, you can draw it out freehand and if you get a, a sketch done, do it on paper. So if you try to do it on your canvas and you make mistakes, you're going to be doing a lot of erasing and then it might might not be uh, might be pretty messy. So what you'll have to do is draw it on paper first, whether way, whatever way you get it on, or you trace it or freehand or grid, whatever you do. And I've got videos on that. I'll leave links in the description for you. So this is the way I'm going to show you. So I did my drawing on my paper, and then I'm going to use this paper here that I made myself. It's just same plain printer paper, and I just put on some pencil, okay, to transfer it. Because if you use carbon paper, you won't be able to erase any of your mistakes. And then you just tape it on, and then you draw, use a pen or a pencil to transfer that image to your canvas. Now I think the best place for us to start this beautiful portrait are the eyes. Let's give that a shot. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a very small round brush, almost like a liner brush, but it's a bit smaller so you have more control. And we are going to take some black so we can do so we can do her, her eyes right here, the tops. Okay, let's just do those first. So we got black paint, and just put a little bit on your brush. If you find this brush is too big, we'll have to move to a smaller one again. But uh, have a few handy just so that you can see what works the best for you. Okay. So let's see what we can do with the eyes. So get it nice and close so you can see it. So let's go with the top lid first.
silver brush or a small flat chiseled edge brush and I think um, maybe we could put some shadows in here first so I'm going to try that try so let's go with the colors that we started off we'll start off with I'm a messy palette here already so our basic colors said and I did a, a the skin tones uh, video so you should be able to find that but this is what I did for the very basic color so you can be easier for you to do all your portraits starting off with this little recipe and then you can add um, white or brown to lighten it or darken it okay so I just start off with white will be my main first color just to know where everything goes because white is the main color a little bit of yellow on the corner of my brush little bit of red kind of a pinkish hue now you can use that for skin tone if you want you don't have to add anything else to it if you don't want to you can still use that as a as a skin tone it's pretty so I'm gonna add a little bit of brown just to tan it up a little bit and because we're going to do a shadow I am going to add more brown. We'll have it a little browner, a little darker for her shadow. So underneath the eye, let's see, let's see. Underneath the eye right here is a bit of shadow. Okay. So we'll put Now we can just get our flesh tone to look good. All right, so here comes the hard part. All right, so the hard part is to get your flesh tone, your basic flesh tone. All right, so like we did before, we put the white and we'll put, oops, I got some brown in that. So put some white and then we'll put a little bit of yellow. All right, and a little bit of red, so it's your basic recipe. And you can use that if you want to use that for your pink, pinkish flesh tone. And if that's, I'm not going to use that, I'm going to add a bit of brown to get a lighter flesh tone. Now that's too, we want this, you know, to be too dark. See, let's see, it's not a bad little flesh tone there, I think. Let's try it. Let's see what happens. Okay, it's not bad. My brush is a little dirty. Alright, so I'm just going to put that on there.
color. Just adding a bit of brown to my basic color that I was using. Just to darken it up. There we go. See? And I'm going to bring that down around her lip. There we go. Longer brush here, longer liner brush. I'll put some black down there, black for all eyelashes. Fill up my brush, black. See how it's dripping there? So, see that? Get that off because that will go on your painting and then we'll, we won't get those nice thin lines. Let's see how can we do our eyelashes. Let's just flick up.
With the chiseled edge brush, we will try the hair. So now we're going to add some colors to the hair. So we're going to go with some, let me see, let me see, maybe some yellow and some brown. All right. Let's try yellow on one side and brown on the other. And let's just throw them in. It won't be exactly the same, but we got the yellow under painting there. So we can use some of that. See, I like this better than the other one that I did. See, the other one I did, the hair is kind of bleh. Although it's pretty and it's nice, right? But look at this. Look at that. Isn't that nice? I love it. I don't know about you, but I like it. Now I'm going to show you that little trick before you say, you're just saying that. No, I wasn't just saying. It's the very last step that you will do. You're going to take a fan brush, okay? So take your fan brush, and this is for the white highlights that are on the hair. There's white highlights on the hair everywhere, right? And to take a, a thin brush and make those little tiny white lines, it's going to take you forever. And um, i got to fix this part in here. Look, I didn't see it. I forgot about that. But anyway, we'll do this first because I promised. In case you want, you got to go. So in case you got to go get a cup of tea or a cup of coffee, coffee, or whatever. So um, I'm just going to take my fan brush and I'm going to lightly, very lightly, just touch and pull on all these pretty white lines, just individual. Okay, it never worked. It never worked. Wait, hang on, hang on. So I'm going to put a little bit of water on it to make it move, just a little bit, or you can spray it. You can spray it. Yeah, let's spray it a little bit just to get it to move. Good. Alright, so you take your brush and you pull, 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 pull. Look. Look at all those nice highlights coming out. It goes right over all that strands of hair. It's better than trying to do it with a, a little tiny brush. I love this. All right. Good. Now you can put a little bit of yellow in your white if you don't want it too chalky looking. All right. Not too much paint on your brush. Very little paint on your brush and very lightly. Don't, don't push hard because you'll get blobs. But very lightly just drag your brush. And follow the shape of the hair, okay? Follow the shape of the hair. Good. And that gives you all those really nice highlights. Do the other side. 
There we go. Down here. A little few down here. You don't need much down here. I don't have a lot on my brush. See, and I'm just dragging that over for, for uh, and you can also take your brush and um, put some white on it. And we want some lines, a couple little white lines, not much, just a couple little thin lines. Turn your brush, the chiseled edge, and then just put on a few little white lines. Just that much, like I said, right? You don't want to uh, ruin what you already have, so. But you just want some highlights. So you'll just put the, and go with the shape, go with the shape. That's it, right? And just a few little highlights here, here. A few little highlights here and there. If I knew where the light was coming from, so we'll have to make it up because we're not there. So let's say the light's coming over. It's coming over from the right and it's hitting off that and some parts of the hair that are left open. see little ones here look a few little highlights just go back and forth up and down whatever way works for you a little bit of highlight there see a little bit highlights here now you can go back and forth put more darker colors in more reds more yellows but I think I'm gonna call this finished now soon because I really like it I don't know about you but I like it. So I'm going to keep my fan brush and I'm going to put a little bit of brown on my brush with a little bit of red. And I'm going to, let's see, let's see. I um, just want to do something in here because this looks kind of unfinished. I'm just going to take my fan brush and a little bit of brown, a little bit of brown, tiny bit of red. Now you can use whatever colors you want. That's just, I'm just making a suggestion. And I'm going to kind of, I want to keep the black, I don't want to lose my black, my black brown. Just put a few little, as if there's highlights, right? just so that it looks more finished. That looks better. That looks finished. I think that's pretty. I really do. I like it. Do you like it? There we go. Let's see if you can see that. No, I didn't. I put it up there. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> oh, boy, do I ever need a camera person. So, down here, I'm noticing her chin down here doesn't look right. See, see, now you can see when you stand back and look at it, you can see things. So, I'm just going to fix that up. Just use the flesh tones. That way, I showed you how to do. White and yellow and a bit of red. That's your base colors, right? Or go out and buy something that's already done. All right, and a bit of brown. Now I may not, I may not get this the right color, so maybe I should leave it alone. But this part here, you can see. Yeah, it should be down. See, see this down a bit more there. So you need to even that off over on this side. I don't know what's going to happen next time. Let's see. Let's see. See what I'm going to do. See if I ruin it. Alright, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Yeah, there we go. A little better. It's just that I, uh, I may have to do that a couple of times. So you can see that there. When that dries, and I'll give it another coat and that will straighten it up. Yeah, there we go. This looks like a little shadow. Well, I'm going to fix that again now. So if you have any questions, you can leave them in the uh, comment section or any suggestions. And if you uh, want to um, want me to do your portrait, uh, just let me know. Yes, so if you have any questions or if you want me to um, have that little... That should be fun. It should be fun that to see all see some pictures coming in and picking one out to see if I can do something with it. I think I will. I have a little bit of 
see I can't stop picking I, I got a I got a video where I just uh, finished a painting and I just wanted to play with it but I still wanted to film it so I was playing with the uh, the painting that I did and I put some original music behind it the stuff that I wrote myself and my husband wrote music and some of it's been on the radio and stuff you know we've, we've had a few but I got it behind while I'm picking at my painting I put it on as a background music and uh, that's going to be up too so all these fun things that I want to do I want to do things that are a little different at times and, and you know and if you got any suggestions that might be a little different that'd be fine it's all fun so I'm going to let you go and hopefully uh, if you get your portrait done and um, you can certainly send me a picture of it too I wouldn't mind seeing seeing your portrait and make it nice and bright and colorful and fun to look at you know that's the, the one I have here is really pretty so I'm going to I'm going to keep that so thank you very much for watching and have a great day and I'll see you in the next video signing off from Alison Pryor bye